This is the first video of a three-part video series dedicated to discussing three different communication models. The first, which we'll talk about right now, is the transmission model. It's also known as the linear model. And you'll understand why they use the word linear, because it's a very simple model. It starts with a sender sending the message to a receiver through a channel of communication. And this channel of communication could be anything, anything that carries the message. The message always goes from left to right, from the sender to the receiver. Other than that, there's only one factor you need to remember for this model, and that's the factor of noise. Noise can be anything that sidetracks the receiver from getting the message clearly. So back in the days of like broadcast television, <laughs> back in the day, it wasn't too long ago, I guess they still have broadcast television, but anyway, when you broadcast a television message and it's not streaming instantly, there, there might it might come with some kind of a white noise or it'd be a little bit fuzzy depending on the reception, you know, how close you are to the mountain or something like that. That would be considered noise, but noise could really be anything, anything that sidetracks you. The reason they call it a linear model is because it always starts from point A and goes to point B in a linear fashion. And there you have it. That's the transmission or the linear model of communication. Now, it was started quite some time ago by a couple gentlemen. Here on the left you have Weaver, there on the right you have Shannon. Now, these two were significant because they were the first to create a model of communication. There was value in what they did laying the foundation, and you can understand why they created it the way they did. Looking at their era in 1949 is when this created. They were looking at technology like the telephone. Back then, with the reception the way it was, you didn't really know if the person on the other line was still listening or if the call had dropped. Nowadays, we have FaceTime or instant messaging. You can see the person on the other line, or you can at least see that the message has been delivered. And if you're doing a phone call, the sound quality is pretty good. You can tell if the call has been dropped or if well, usually you can tell if it's been dropped or not. Anyway, even though this is an older model of communication, it still has relevance today as well. And well, especially in the business world, things that deal with marketing or regarding sales or any public relations, these aspects like to focus on customer communication. And that is very linear model. How is our message being delivered through these channels and you know, focusing on that delivery? And there you have it.